Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, pretty much 24 here, and I am back for another reaction! This time around, we're taking a look at episode 24 of Season 7. This is the Uncommon Bond. Wow. Okay, so we are almost done with Season 7. We just got the finale after this episode. But, this might be interesting. Because, it's a Starlight episode. It's a freaking Starlight episode. It's been a little bit since I've had one from her, which is nice. Noise, noise, noise. Actually, it hasn't been too, too long. It's just I've been a few episodes. But nonetheless, it's been a lot of time for me since I've seen a Starlight episode, which apparently it's by herself. There's no Trixie involved in this one, which is interesting. Usually, anytime Starlight's been on screen, either the main six has been involved or Trixie is shadowing her. But I don't think she's in this one. So, huh. And she's got an uncommon bond, so the only other pony I can really think of that she would be hanging out with and possibly having an uncommon bond with would be, um, uh, Sunburst. But if that's not who she's seeing right now in this, uh, I don't know who it's going to be. But I guess there's only one, one way to find out, so let's go and get started in three, two, one, go. And she's on the train station. Super freaking hype. Excuse me, when does the noon train from the Crystal Empire arrive? Uh, noon? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a little excited because my friend Sunburst is coming. Yep, Sunburst. He's my oldest friend. I mean, we've known each other practically forever. We have tons in common. We both love magic and games and jokes. Everything, really. Starlight is about like it, there so damn hyped. She's just telling everyone. more in common with. She can't hear you. Got her music, cause vinyl is vinyl. Where is Sunburst? Is he nervous? Oh, did he not come? Oh. Starlight? Hi. Sunburst. Oh, he came out the back. You made it. Of course. I've been looking forward to this visit for a long time. Yay! Whoa, how long are you staying? That's a lot of uh, just a wait reading for the train. If uh, she has a hard time picking up Same with magic. Old sunburst. It's gonna be so great spending time together. Those things are so jam-packed like roller books. You and me doing the stuff we like, games, magic, antiquing. What? Antiquing. You know I like antiquing. You do? Um, of course. Historical knickknacks, ancient relics. Oh, you are so lucky. Ponyville is antique central. I never heard of it that is. phrase, antiquing. How have we never talked about this. We are going antiquing, and you are gonna love it. Okay, let's drop your stuff off at the castle first. Sure. Only. <laughs> We may need to make a few trips. Is he moving out? What the heck? So is he just this visiting is so or is he great. moving there? Who because he's got be so much showing stuff. You the cool sights of Ponyville. I'm a little surprised myself. He packs more than Rarity does. Or did. Wow! What a difference between the hoof-molded bricks and the extruded ones, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, oh, one has inverted designs and engraved in it. Chandeliers. Sometimes the crystals have magical properties. Oh, oh, that's cool. Uh, how do you sunburst? I'm so glad you're here. In the antique store? In Ponyville. Starlight's really been looking forward to your visit. Mm -hmm. Though I'm glad you're in the antique store too. I'm usually the only one. <laughs> that's crazy. Who doesn't like antiquing, right? <laughs> right. Oh boy. Ooh, look. An ancient map of Equestria made by the mighty helm! Is Starlight gonna start getting, uh... Without the help of unicorn magic or Pegasus flight, jealous. the Earth ponies of the mighty helm were able to map the entire coast of Equestria! Cool! She has no interest or no knowledge of this stuff. <gasps> I hear music. Are we getting a song? Look how unhappy she is. 
I feel so bad. Twilight is kind of being like a third wheel and kind of starting to steal the show of sorts. You don't have to pretend to like all this stuff. What? No, I do like it. I mean, if you like it, I like it. <laughs> Besides, we've almost looked at everything, right? Nope. Oh, wow! You have got to see the Saddle Arabian Vanity! This shop looked a lot smaller from the outside. Yeah, right? That's just how Twilight's castle is when you think about it. Mm. Man. I mean, it is kind of true that like, you don't have to all like the same thing. But like I, I do feel bad that he is so invested there? into this well, one kind of thing that, goes well with this that Phoenix feather he's not really doing we a whole lot with Starlight. To each other. Pen pals. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like this old tiny barrel. Actually, the stuff I bought is inside the barrel, but I can't wait to see what it is. Wait, you don't know what you bought? It's a mystery barrel. Mm -mm. It's a blind buy. Sometimes shops get too busy to go through everything, so they load up a box or barrel and sell it without knowing what's inside. Buying one yeah, is sort of it's like, like a, a blind bag. Hunt. Once I found a first edition history of Equestria in the original old Ponish. Flight for certain flight. <laughs> mm. So I feel it's so left out. Ponish saying, reward prefers risk. Uh, it loses something in the translation. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, Starlight. Why don't we look through this stuff later? Yeah. What do you want to do, Starlight? Well, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but... <gasps> Is this... Dragon Pit! I remember that game. You two used to play it? <laughs> Pretty much any time we weren't working on magic. I can't believe you found a copy. It's the same one, ain't it? Aww. Sunburst would get so excited whenever his dragon got trapped, he knocked the whole board over. That's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> That's adorable. It's an exciting game, but I have a little more control. <laughs> that line just kind of seemed a bit out of left field. Magic missile! Cast magic missile. Uh-oh, some pony's dragon's gonna get trapped. Oh my gosh. Doesn't seem so exciting to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> huh. I guess it is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what's kind of cool. You're enjoying your visit so far. Are you kidding? I mean, first antiquing and then spending time with Twilight? Oh, yeah. She's pretty great. Right? I mean, I know she's a princess, but I never thought she'd be so fun to just hang out with. <laughs> well, she is oh, the princess man, of Starlight's friendship. Oh, man, Starlight's gonna start getting jealous. <laughs> right. I guess that makes sense. So, tomorrow, I thought... I suppose I'm just surprised at how well we get along. I don't have much in common with most ponies. You two are pretty similar. I don't know many ponies who are fluent in old ponish. Exactly! Mm. Uh, I probably have more in common with Twilight than any pony in Equestria. Welp. Right. Uh, Bye. Anyway, I better get some sleep. Bruh. Uh, Ponyville might be small, but there's a lot to do. Bruh, you're you're you're. Maybe we should ask Twilight what you're she recommends. You're kind of making Starlight depressed. Um, sure. Great. Good night, Starlight. Uh, good night. Oh. I'm sorry, Starlight. This guy really does. Knock, knock. Hi. Uh, oh, <laughs> just gave him a heart like, attack. Is it morning already? Yep. Maybe a bit early, but like you said, there's a lot to see in Ponyville. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Plus, I couldn't really sleep. I just kept thinking about all the stuff we have in common and how much fun we'll have today. Great. Uh, is Twilight up yet? Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure she's busy with princess stuff today. Oh. <sighs> but I've got a full day of stuff planned. Man. Just you and me. Uh, 
Great. Um, would you mind turning around or preferably leaving the room so I could get changed? Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Starlight constantly wears no clothes. <laughs> One genuine sweet apple acres apple tree. <laughs> Because we used to drink so much apple juice as foals? Uh, That's a stretch. I don't remember that. That's a stretch. Really? I mean, it was all we drank. Uh, here, try an apple. I bet that'll jog your memory. <laughs> no! Ow. Oh, hi, Trixie. There you what are. What are you doing here? I often seek the privacy of the orchard to practice new feats of amazement. Again with the dang oh, teacups. Oh, well, Sunburst and I were just catching up, so... <gasps> I don't suppose the two of you want to see a never-before-witnessed magical marvel? Sure! For Frick's sake. Why not? Behold, of course, they had to the shoehorn in Trixie when with a starlight. <laughs> and have one episode with Starlight without Trixie. Nowadays. And best friend of Starlight, Trixie! What? Chains? I give you the unicorn escape. One more twist and the great and powerful Trixie requires a little assistance. Uh. I know this trick. There's a special link, but I could never hold the chain up long enough to find it. You're gonna kill her. Dude. Ah! Well, if I could do magic like that, I'd have a whole slew of new tricks at my disposal. I always liked close up magic because I knew I could do it if I just practiced enough. Well. And now Tracy's gonna start liking him. Yep. So the whole day went from spending it with Starlight to now spending it with Trixie. And... Starlight is going to start feeling jealous, but like... It, it... Uh-uh-uh. 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 <laughs> Why was that kind of cute? I don't know. But Starlight's going to start getting like kind of jealous with this. I know she is. It, they all had him, and he didn't even realize it. Starlight, but he's spending time with her friends too, and, and I had in common. what you she, have in common is that know. you both like the same friends. I know Trixie's magic. Is why are you showing her? Th why are you showing but him this? Your pool is actual magic. Wasn't it sealed off? Oh, this place is pure pony lore. Uh, yep. I mean, it's supposed to be all dangerous, and uh, I guess I shouldn't have broken the seal to get in, but for Frick's sake, of Ponyville, right? So Pinkie Pie just dove in and made copies of herself. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot of them. If we made copies of ourselves, we could get a year's worth of hanging out over in one day. Starlight, no. And uh, not that we would. Do you hear that? What is that? Oh, I hope it's not a leftover Pinkie Pie. Not exactly. Mod? How did you get in here? This cavern's actually connected to mine. Oh, that's uh, cool. What are you doing? Tapping. Mod isn't super chatty. Tapping. I mean, you and I could sit around and talk all day, but she looks pretty busy. Are you taking some kind of core sample? Not exactly. I'm uncovering this section of strata for closer study. You might want to step back. Ooh. I'm studying this area's metamorphic. The foliation. Is this nice phyllite or slate? Wow, the pressure above must be pretty uniform to get the planar fabric to be this consistent. You know about geology? Yeah, I dabble. For example, <laughs> I dabble. the spoliathems <laughs> in this cave, I kind of figured there was another way out. Because of the calcite deposits. Because he's kind of dabbles in everything. Except Starlight. Man. Starlight feels so sad, but... I mean, as a consolation, Sunburst is having a lot of fun on his visit. Which, shouldn't that be, like, the main goal right now? Is 
His visit is to have a lot of fun. Like, he wanted to have a lot of fun. This is supposed to be his treat, and I do feel Starlight? bad that Starlight's kind of watch out, though. Mm, doing stage magic with Trixie. Studying new rocks with Maud. You're here, so I guess you two aren't off translating some ancient old Ponish text. What are you talking about? Why would Sunburst be doing any of that? I thought he came to Ponyville to see you. Mm. I thought so too, but it hasn't worked out that way. When we were foals, we had more in common than any two ponies in Equestria. But now it seems like he's got more in common with my friends than he does with me. Oh, every well. pony changes. But that doesn't mean there aren't still things you both like. You both love magic, right? Magic? Sure, you're really good at it. And Sunburst practically knows every spell that ever was. <gasps> you're right! Thanks, Twilight. You're the best! <laughs> I try. <laughs> Starlight, I try. <laughs> what happened? Maud and I found some fascinating sedimentary stratum, but when I turned to show you, you were gone. Maud does have a way of making rocks really interesting, but I wanted to work on something a little more us. Working on a spell. What's this? Just a little something I made up. Whoa! You made up this spell? Just now? Yeah. Oh god, what's it gonna do? Whoa. So what pray tell is this supposed to do? Wow. I know right. Nostalgia. But wait, there's more! Are you gonna make yourself a kiss again? Oh my gosh! Cool, right? Um, sure. Can... Now we can play Dragon Pit, just like we used to. Uh, Starlight, I, I think. Actually, I thought we could go with Maud. And... I mean, nothing. I thought you. Just you and me playing this game. You, we you, you misunderstood right? the message. Starlight, do you want to be red or blue? Starlight! I don't want to play the game at all! Oh boy. Okay, good. What's going on in here? Nothing. I was trying to have fun doing the one thing I thought we still had in common. But I guess we don't even have that anymore. Uh, I think him being a kid again probably scared him. I don't understand. Starlight and I have known each other since we were foals, but that doesn't mean we have to be foals to hang out. Uh, Starlight does have a tendency to overdo. Yeah. I mean, it is surprising how well I get along with all of her friends, but she and I still have tons in common. Maybe you just need to remind her what those things are. That's it. That's exactly what I'll do. Right after I think of them. Oh. Oh man. Obviously, you and I hit it up. I am quite impressive. For Frick's sake, Tracy. And we share a love for prestidigitation. Your commonality right. is and that you Starlight both like I the same kinds of pony friends. I just need to think of them. What else do you guys have in common? Well, we both made not so great choices in the past. What the heck? And we're self-conscious about every pony judging us, even though we've both changed and are trying hard to be better. Yeah, we don't really have that. I can think of something you have in common. You're both poor practice audiences. <laughs> Starlight and I don't really have a lot in common. Wait, they claim using the Maribel? from most ponies. And comedy. Comedy? What? I'm very funny. Was that a joke? No. Well, that's more than I can think of that she and I have in common. We don't really spend that much time talking about that, though. Mostly, we're just comfortable around each other. <sighs> yeah. We used to be. We did everything together. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if we've spent so much time apart that we don't connect over anything anymore. And if we can't connect over anything, then maybe we're not even friends. Well, at least it's not serious. That was a joke. Well, dang. I appreciate you trying to help, Twilight. But it seems pretty clear that Sunburst and I have grown apart. I understand. 
but I feel like that only happens if you both let it. You still want to be friends, right? I created a spell so we could relive playing a game in our childhood home. And bodies. Right. I'm just not sure Sunburst wants to stay friends, too. I think you might be surprised. Prepare yourself. Oh my gosh. For the new and improved Dragon Pit! Oh, for frick's sake. We had to take out a few spaces to get it to fit, but you hardly missed them. Maud made the dice. That's cool! Okay. And this is the lightest igneous rock. It seems the best choice. That's so cool. Okay, I, I like this. I added the special effects. <laughs> There's nothing like a little well-placed magic smoke. <laughs> like this is so cool! I thought you didn't want to play this game. Well, I didn't want to pretend to be a foal, but I know you wanted to play. I thought it'd be fun to play a version big enough for full-grown ponies. That. What do you think? Fun, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, dang it, put that costume on! Actually, it's missing something. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's fun. <laughs> oh, wow. And of course, Ma's the only one who's not actually laughing at the others. Just giving the stare. Hey, the books aren't jam packed in there anymore. I don't know what the heck why happened? I'm so worried about us not having anything in common. Do you yeah. leave some things behind? I kind of think it doesn't matter as long as we enjoy each other's company. And that game was certainly enjoyable. Oh, there's the rest of the things. What made it even better was getting to play it with all my friends. Yay! Maud, get over there. Yay! See you soon? You bet. I want to hear if you find anything interesting in that barrel. Trust me, Starlight. You'll be the first to know. Yay! Why does that not look good? Um... Is that? You know, considering this is episode 24, this would actually make sense, but... Is that Black Book supposed to be... Related to the finale episodes for this season? Because there was a bit of an ominous music that was playing when that showed up. There was a lot of stuff in that barrel, though. There was definitely a lot of stuff, but... Uh... Oh, boy. I, 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 I don't know what's going to be going on with that, and I, I, I got a bad feeling about it. But aside from that, um, there were ups and downs with this episode. Like, I liked it, and then I hated it, and then I liked it, and then I hated it, and then I liked it again. I, 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 I don't know how to, I don't know how. I, I don't know how to feel about this, this episode. I really don't. Like, I was happy to see, uh, Sunburst show up again. And, admittedly, in the beginning, his interactions with, like, uh, Starlight and even Twilight in the, uh, that first place, it was actually pretty cool, and I liked that, and even when they, and when they played the games together, the board game together for the first time, that was awesome, and, like, <laughs> just, like, the whole line of it being, like, that's adorable, like, that kind of thing with, with, uh, Twilight saying it, that, it seemed really out there, like, it didn't really seem like a line that I would expect her to say, but it was still kind of cute just seeing them play it together. It was actually kind of cool. And I like the fact that Sunburst was able to get along with all of uh, Starlight's friends. Like, all the ones that he met, anyways. And it shows that, like, one of the common things that they have is they both like the same ponies. They, they both li like, they, they have mutual friends. They like them. And that's kind of cool, but... I was just really, really, really thinking that Starlight was going to get, like, super depressed, like, the whole time through. I think she was going to get super depressed because Sunburst was hanging out more with her friends than um, he was hanging out with uh, Starlight herself. And it became pretty prominent when things like, uh, 
like where she like woke her, woke him up to go do things with just the two of them, and the first thing that he does is ask if Princess Twilight is coming along and what is she doing. Like, I guess probably somewhere in the back of her mind, Starlight was kind of afraid that she was gonna start getting replaced and lose Sunburst as a friend, and instead Twilight and like the others would end up having him as a friend instead of her. Maybe, I don't know, but. I, I, I can kind of actually understand that mentality, to be completely honest. Uh, it's not a good mentality to have, I ain't stretching the imagination, but I can relate to it. I've had, I have had that experience before, and I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I w I've been in Sunburst's case, and I've been in Star and, um, Starlight's case uh, for this, so I, I understand the feeling. But... I'm glad that it kind of ended out with, you know, him being able to have a bunch of new friends and stuff, not just Starlight. Now he's got mutual other ones as well. He's stronger friends with Twilight. He met Trixie, Maud, and just got to hang out with them. So that was cool. I approve. Uh, <laughs> but this whole thing with this book that showed up at the very end inside that barrel, I... Uh, I got a sneaking suspicion that it's going to be related to either... It's going to be related to the uh, finale episode. But I guess we'll just have to wait until we take a look at that episode to find out. So for now, that's going to be it for this, everybody. So until the finale episodes come around, this has been Birdmaster44 saying see you guys later.